Hello and welcome to today's Facecast. I wonder if the word benediction means anything to you. What's a benediction? I looked it up, to be honest with you. I use these things all the time, but what's a defini dictionary definition of a be benediction? Well, it's a blessing. It's something you'd say maybe at the end of a church service or to someone as you were saying goodbye to them and wishing them well. And there's this really famous one in the New Testament at the end of the letter of Jude. This comes just before the last book of the Bible, which is Revelation. Anyway, it says, Jude, it's only one chapter, so it's tw verses 24 and 25. To him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy, to the only God, our Saviour, be glory, majesty, power and authority through Jesus Christ, our Lord, before all ages, now and evermore. Amen, is what it says. Well, that's a great way to finish off a letter, isn't it? A great way to say to the people that you're writing to, may you be blessed by all these things. To him who is able to keep you from falling. Who's that? Well, that's Jesus, of course. He keeps us from falling. He protects us and looks over us. And to present you before his glorious presence without fault. Um, the way we can be presented to Jesus without fault is because of his death on the cross for us. He takes the guilt of sin upon himself instead of upon us. Um, and with great joy to that the only God, our saviour. This is who this blessing is to. Be, may there be glory and majesty and power and authority. So we're saying to God when we say this blessing, to you be all the glory, the power, the majesty, majesty and the honour, because you're the one who deserves it. Not us, not anybody else, but you, Lord Jesus, deserve all of this. And you, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, before all ages, now and forevermore. So it's a, it's a collecting together of people from around the world, through the ages, right up until now, the present time. All of these things together are brought together in this wonderful benediction. Jude, verses 24, 25. If ever you want to sign off at the end of the day, this is a good way to do so. If ever you want to write a letter or an email or something to someone, and you want to say something positive at the end, you don't have to write this word for word, but you can use it as a model. All the things you might want to say to someone to encourage them are there in that blessing. You can pick it apart and look at it and read it and reread it and go back to it time and again and find something new in it. The benediction at the end of the letter of Jude. Take a look, have a read, see what you make of it for yourself. Bye for now.